Bhagavad Gita, text 3.13 The saintly, who even while eating, perform sacrifice by offering food and then eating the remnants, are released from all evil. The wicked, who cook only for themselves, eat only impurities. Here, Krishna cites the common act of eating as an example of how far-reaching the principle of sacrifice is for human society. The very act of eating should be one of sacrifice. Enjoyment is truly only that which is the fruit of sacrifice. The act of saying grace before one's meals is the heart of Krishna's instruction in this verse. In the strict Vedic sense, this verse refers to the means by which the householder is freed from evil acts performed inadvertently. Five types of sacrifice are enjoined for the householder that absolve him from evils committed through five everyday household accessories, essential to the householder. The pestle, grinder, oven, water pot and broom. It is said that on account of these five items, the householder does not attain heaven for their use in household life causes harm to other living beings, insects, etc. Thus, by performing the five sacrifices, one counteracts the sins inadvertently committed through these five items. Central to these sacrifices is the offering of food to the gods in the Vaishvadeva Yajna. Taking this verse beyond the scope of the Vedic law to the heart of the principle of sacrifice, Bhaktivedanta Swami Prabhupada comments that the devotees who are truly saintly people are freed from all sins merely by the act of offering all of their food to Krishna and partaking of the remnants. Krishna next further explains the system that calls for sacrifice on the part of humanity, thereby connecting humanity with divinity. <laughs> 